So you bought a Nest, and now you're thinking, do I really know what I'm doing? Well, I'm going to show you how to take your old thermostat off the wall and install the new Nest thermostat. <laughs> With this particular thermostat, you're simply going to remove the faceplate and expose your wiring. This system is what would be called a conventional system. The color code is usually close to the letter code. So, for instance, the red color is typically on the R terminal. The white color is typically on the W terminal, as you see there. The yellow color is typically on the Y terminal. And then green is G, and blue, or common in this case. My recommendation would be to simply take a picture of the area where the wires connect. And when you're putting your new thermostat on the wall, pay attention to the colors in your picture versus the colors or nomenclature on the new thermostat. The Nest thermostat comes with a screwdriver in the box with it. The new Nest screwdriver actually only has two tips, a fairly sizable Phillips tip and then a flat tip that fits the terminal openings fairly well. Obviously we have a little bit of a paint mark on the wall. And so this device, the old thermostat, covered up the paint mark just fine. But with this new nest, you've got a large, ugly mark on the wall. So you have the option with the components that come with the nest thermostat to cover that up. Well, Nest gives you this piece that will also cover the paint mark and give you a vanity ring. If you cared to, this metal bracket is designed to be mounted to the wall and secured along these large, these long slots in the metal. And then the vanity cover is designed to fit over top of that metal frame and then the thermostat mounts to that. When you secure your metal bracket and your back plate, the nest would screw to there, and then your thermostat would click to that. For this video, we're just going to take the back plate straight to the drywall without any of the extra vanity covers. Nest has included this little leveling bubble to help you set it up.
At this point, I would recommend referencing the before picture that you took of the wiring the way it was connected to your old thermostat. For this particular device, we had blue going to C. We had white going to W1. And as you'll notice, you simply press the wire into the hole and the tab on the back will be depressed or pulled down as the wire slides into the connection. If you needed to remove the wires, you would simply press the button on the outside and tug the wire out of the hole. On the yellow or Y terminals, you've actually got two terminals, Y1 and Y2. If you did not have anything connected to Y2 on your old thermostat, you won't want to connect anything to this thermostat. Green goes to G. And with this particular thermostat, most of its intelligence is digital rather than mechanical. Your old thermostat was more mechanical than digital. So on your old thermostat, you may have had a small piece of wire that went between the terminal RH and the terminal RC. With the Nest thermostat, you can connect to either RH or RC, and then as you're setting it up, simply tell it whether you have separate transformers or a single transformer. Typically, you won't even need to know that if you use the automatic setup wizard that the thermostat allows you to. When you first mount the display to the base, it will process having power and ask you a few questions. To make your selections, you simply press the whole face and outer ring of the thermostat into the wall, like so. If you needed to make a selection, you're going to roll the ring to select different lines on the display. When you make your selection, you can press just on the face but it's the whole thermostat that moves, not just one area. So it's going to ask you for language, internet connection, heating and cooling, your location, and etc. Internet connection, make your selection. We want to connect. I've got a lot of Wi-Fi's around me. My network is named Stephen Reardon's network. From here, we're going to enter the password. Once you've got your password entered, it will tell you that the thermostat is online. If you select homeowner, it will allow you to visualize equipment detected. Um, um, um.